Yeah, um, th that was uh, something that I was struggling with uh, the editing as well. I, I, I wanted to show, initially the idea is just to show it as it is without any comments, any narration from, from my point of view. But I feel that since my voice is already in very often uh, asking questions, I might as well narrate in some of that moment kind of feelings. And I think it, it helps to put some perspective at a point of time as well. But I don't know if it's disturbing to all of you. Or does it uh, bring you to another direction? I think that um, before this, we are filming after. In 2006, um, there's a document that show about me that's a volunteering job in this hospice health care that it pictures. And uh, during that time, it's a half an hour show. That's where I go through the director to come to know him. And, you know, and at that time, my father seen that shows about me. And, uh, that is where we start having the thought of how to overcome the problem. But uh, I think that's what he has shared. When we started only with thinking that how to solve our problem, we started with that, my, my problem first, you see. But as we go, I noticed that, oh no, we, we, we can be more than that, you know. It can be more than just solving my problem. It, it can be solving some other people's problem. It can give some lights in some way. So I think that at first he is telling him when is he not coming, but later he thinks that when is he coming. <laughs> so I think from the positive side of it, I would say that my father is a traditional man. To him, if he can contribute, he feels the glory. That's how I feel about him. So to me, I think that um, even during, I think he has spending a lot of time, especially during the night that he passed away. We come to know in the evening about seven, decided not to not to do anything, but just by him, by presently, by his bed bedside. He came in and he had very, very precious type of, uh, what do you call that? Uh, precious type of pictures or whatever. So, that is a part that I'll go after him to get those pictures. <laughs> because he actually is in the room when he has his last prayer and his talk. So these are things that I find that it's, it's not so easy to get a casual of it. And it is so, to me I think that um, these are things that you can see and visualize and you can feel it in a way. Um, I have a few feedback, even from my team of doctor. They are telling me that they can sense the peacefulness in him, which I'm glad, you know, from a, from a parenting team doctor, which um, people like that know pretty well of how they assess the patients. Okay, maybe I just add on to this. Actually, if you ask me instinctively, I would say that he's still uncomfortable being shown on the screen. Maybe even until the last breath, he still feels uncomfortable. And even during the editing stage, I don't know, maybe, I don't know if you call it superstitious. There's this date number 16, and his bed is number 16. When we're editing, the tape just screw up all the time. And even just now, you see, 
<laughs> you know the yeah, then my ring just dropped. <laughs> <laughs> it's just that that from the tape number sixteen. I don't know. Yeah, just shot. now it's just just a shot. <laughs> I don't know if you call it. And there's a lot of times actually I wanted to give up. I don't know. I just I cannot go on anymore. I cannot edit anymore because this process is taking too long. I'm taking like, uh, in between jobs, and you know, my editor is also in between jobs, and I'm just I just keep telling. At certain stage, I even ask my editor, maybe should we, should we just stop and that's it? And then we just pass all the rushes back to her and yeah. So, but sometimes I, I, but I don't know. Maybe and, and, and but it's when the film is completed, like right now, I, I suddenly feel like this is the right time. Some because there's this other discussion. I don't know if you all are reading the papers about what is life after death and everything. And everything just comes together suddenly, I mean, without plan. I mean, I didn't plan for it to be screened right here, right now, and I didn't plan for a campaign to start. So everything just comes together. So maybe it's, maybe he has it planned, I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. He had been telling me about the 16, because it's true that he got a lot of problem with 16. And, um, it is also true that uh, because of that, is um, we do go back and uh, pray to my father. You know? <laughs> Say that uh, do help us along the way. If yeah, there's any uh, regrets in the show, is that I never get a perspective for them. Because um, I've always wanted to ask uh, Alan whether should I ask a brother or even a perspective, and they are not very comfortable with them. Because they didn't want them to know, or want him, him to know that there's this document, document going on. Of course, the, the, the wife knows we are filming, but 